1.5 million years ago, our planet was dominated by our lost relative, Homo erectus, a species that changed the game for human evolution. They were the first hominins to leave Africa, spreading across Asia and Europe, and their diet was a big reason why. Meat was their obsession, fueling bigger brains and tougher bodies. But there's more to their menu than you might think. Foods you didn't even know they ate. We'll dive into the science, from fossilized teeth to ancient hearths, to reveal what they ate, how much, and how it transformed them. First, let's meet Homo erectus. They lived from about 1.9 million to 110,000 years ago, evolving in East Africa, places like Kubi Fora in Kenya, where some of the oldest fossils, like the Turkana boy, were found. Homo erectus was a game changer. They were taller than their predecessors, up to six feet tall, with long legs and a more upright posture perfect for covering long distances. Their name means upright man, and they lived up to it, roaming vast landscapes in search of food. Unlike Homo habilis, who stayed in Africa, Homo erectus ventured out around 1.8 million years ago, reaching as far as Georgia, China and Indonesia. Sites like Dimanisi and Jokudian tell us they thrived in diverse climates, from African savannas to Asian forests. Their brains were bigger too, averaging 900 to 1100 cubic centimeters, compared to Homo habilis's 600. That's a huge leap, and it's tied to their diet. Homo erectus were skilled toolmakers, crafting Acheulean hand axes, sharp, bifacial stone tools for hunting and butchering. They were also the first to control fire as early as one million years ago, which revolutionized how they ate. They lived in small, cooperative groups, sharing food and likely working together to hunt or scavenge. But what exactly were they eating to fuel this incredible journey? Let's break it down with the evidence. What was on the Homo erectus menu? Let's start with the main course. Meat. Lots of it. Homo erectus were meat lovers and the evidence is clear. At sites like Kubi Fora in Kenya, dated to 1.5 million years ago, we found animal bones with cut marks from stone tools. Antelopes, elephants, even small rodents. Some bones also have carnivore bite marks, showing Homo erectus often scavenged leftovers from predators like lions. But their tools let them access marrow and meat, others couldn't. Isotopic analysis of their bones, looking at nitrogen-15 and carbon-13 levels, gives us a breakdown. In African populations like those at Olduvai Gorge, their diet was about 80% meat from animals like zebras, gazelles and hippos. In Asian sites like Shokudian in China, it drops to around 65 to 70% meat, with more plant intake due to forested environments. That leaves about 15 to 20% of their diet from plants, and in some coastal areas, up to 5% from aquatic resources like fish or shellfish. Their teeth tell us more. Homo erectus fossils from Jokudian show microwear patterns, scratches from tough, fibrous plants like roots and grasses, but also polish from eating meat. Compared to earlier hominins, their teeth were smaller a sign they relied less on raw, tough plants and more on meat and processed foods. Plants were still crucial, especially in lean times. At Gesher Benot Yaakov in Israel, dated to 780,000 years ago, archaeologists found charred remains of seeds, nuts and tubers. Evidence they gathered wild plants like acorns, water chestnuts and starchy roots they likely used their hand axes to dig these up, supplementing their meat-heavy diet with carbs and micronutrients. Now, here's the surprising part. Foods you didn't know they ate. At Swartkrans in South Africa, fossilized crab claws with tool marks suggest Homo erectus cracked open freshwater crabs, 
adding protein and omega-3s to their diet. And at Sangaran in Java, chemical traces in soil hint at honey consumption. They might have raided beehives for a sweet treat, a risky but calorie-rich food. These unexpected foods show just how adaptable Homo erectus was, finding nutrition in diverse environments. What's the most surprising food Homo erectus ate? Freshwater crabs, honey, or something else? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Homo erectus didn't just eat, they prepared their food in ways that set them apart. First, their tools. They crafted Aculean hand axes, sharp, pear-shaped stone tools that were a huge upgrade from the simpler, Olduin tools of Homo habilis. At sites like Oloje Sili in Kenya, we've found hundreds of hand axes alongside animal bones with cut marks. These tools let them butcher large animals, scrape meat off bones, and crack them open for marrow, a fatty, calorie-dense food. They also used hand axes to dig for roots or even fend off predators while scavenging. Then there's fire, a game-changer. The earliest evidence of fire use by Homo erectus comes from Wonderwork Cave in South Africa, dated to one million years ago, with more consistent use by 400,000 years ago. Paths with charred bones and plants show they roasted meat, making it easier to chew and digest, and cooked tubers to break down tough fibers. Cooking also killed bacteria in meat and reduced toxins in plants, improving their health. It's estimated that cooking increased the calories they could extract from food by up to 30%, a huge boost for their energy-hungry brains. Before fire became widespread, they ate raw. They likely used stones to pound roots into smaller pieces, as we see in toolware patterns, and sliced meat with hand axes to make it more manageable. This preparation, even without fire, helped them get more nutrition from their food, setting the stage for later innovations. Homo erectus's diet didn't just keep them alive, it transformed them. First, their brains. Meat is packed with protein and fats, like omega-3s, essential for brain growth. Cooking made food even more calorie-dense, freeing up energy for their brains to grow. Homo erectus brains averaged 900 to 1100 cubic centimeters, nearly double Homo habilis's 600. That bigger brain helped them plan hunts, make better tools, and adapt to new environments. Their bodies changed too. A meat-heavy diet and cooked foods meant less chewing, so their teeth and jaws got smaller compared to earlier hominins. Fossils show their molars were about 20% smaller than Homo habilis. Their bodies were built for endurance. Long legs, a narrow pelvis, and an upright posture let them cover vast distances to hunt or scavenge, a trait we still have today. Their diet also fueled their migration. Meat was a reliable calorie source in new environments, while plants and aquatic foods added variety and socially, their diet brought them together. Sharing meat after a hunt or gathering around a fire to cook fostered cooperation, maybe even early communication. Those communal hearths were the first dinner tables, setting the stage for human social behavior. What can Homo erectus teach us today? Their diet, 80% meat, 15% plants, 5% aquatic foods, looks a lot like modern carnivore diets, which prioritize protein and fats. But their plant intake reminds us balance is key. They use tools to prepare food, just like we use knives and blenders today. And cooking over fire unlocked more nutrition, a trick we still use when we grill or roast. Their story also raises questions. Their meat-heavy diet wasn't sustainable long-term. Modern studies show too much meat can strain the environment and our health. Maybe we can learn from their adaptability, balancing meat with plants like they did. Next time you're cooking dinner, think of Homo erectus. They were the first to make food a tool for survival and connection.
That's it for today on Roots of Us. We'll be back next week to explore more culinary specialities from our hominin cousins. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more deep dives into the foods that made us human. Until next time, goodbye.